Andrew. Um, uh, great to have you here, and I'm really excited to you know get to know more about the Valentine's exhibition. Um, so the first thing I was really want to ask was, uh, so what made you want to get involved with Valentine's, and what is your background into the whole history of the of it? Well, my I think three greats and a grandfather started the Valentine Company in 1825. So I am the sixth generation of the family who actually worked in the company, um, which I did for about 12 years and left it in, uh, I think it was 1974. Uh, but what I was very keen to do was that I felt that um, the Valentine family legacy had not really been properly recorded. Uh, we heard a lot about jute and jam and journalism. Yeah. Not nearly enough about Valentine's, who, after all, employed uh, over a thousand people at one time. And it was a very happy company with a lot of, um, you know, generations of families working in the company, or cousins or um, friends. And I wanted to just simply make sure that, that there was a, a proper recording of what Valentine's had achieved and what they stood for. And so I approached the v &A in late 2018 and was um, rather pleasantly surprised when I, my original intention was to put on a small exhibition that simply had to have a recording of it. And um, it, from then on it grew arms and legs and here we are today. It's, uh, well, it's very interesting. I, you know, even now, we're watching people look at the exhibition and get an idea of what the history was. Um, and do you think Valentine's has had a major impact on Dundee? And obviously, you say jam and journalism, as everyone knows about that background. And you know, this exhibition is trying to highlight what Valentine's have done, and you know, the, the impact that the whole um, that had on the city. Um, so, what was the what is the pro what was the process like when you were uh, working for Valentine's, and like, and like, what was ideas behind it, and the pictures for the postcards, and you know that idea of having uh, selling postcards and that. So, what was the process like back then? Well, I came into the company when postcards were beginning to go out. Um, the uh, we had been absolute pioneers of the postcard industry worldwide because after all we had seven international companies at one point and uh, but by the time that i came on the scene uh, postcards were beginning to decline greeting cards were taking over and i actually worked in the, in the postcard department for a bit and there's a, an image in the exhibition here of the victoria museum um, Victoria Arch, rather, um, which I actually developed off a glass negative um, way back in um, my early days in Valentine's. But I, I think that the, the impact over the years has been huge. If you, if you mention postcards, um, what, 40 years ago, automatically you thought of Valentine's. And that wasn't true just in the UK, it was true abroad as well. And do you think the impact this exhibition has had has brought a new generation of people to un uh, know about the heritage that Dundee has and links with Valentine's? Yes, yeah, so I think with that question, and, that, that's yeah. it. and it's I was really pleased today when I came in to see, um, you know, really primary school, small primary school <laughs> children, but not only just going being taken round the exhibition, but asking questions too, and, and actually genuinely being interested. Yeah, and it's it's really good that you know they're getting to learn about the history of the of you know the impact that industry had um, in Dundee's industry relating to that. And do you think with them learn with younger generations learning about it, do you think maybe there could be some you know revival in the way? You know, you can now um, have an instant photograph and, and send it as a postcard, indeed. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just the moment you take the photograph. Yeah. So I, d I don't see a revival in that sense, yeah. um, but one thing I do hope will happen is that when Hallmark took over Valentine's, the archive of um, the old negatives 
was given to the um, library of St Andrews at the University Library. And that's still there, the 180,000 images I think still there. And the quality of some of that photography is absolutely fantastic. And I, what I do hope, and, and which we're actually talking about, is how we can open up that archive and bring that standard of lovely photography um, up to a much wider audience. At the moment, the university look after it beautifully. Um, they're very careful about it, they've digitised most of the old photography. But I hope that um, that can be brought out and the quality of the photography can be shown not just in the Valentine collection but the other old collections the university have as well. And finally one thing I was going to ask you about was um, what's your ex what's you, what have you enjoyed seeing about this exhibition in general and what, what, like your personal view of it and seeing stuff that's been going on and getting what's, what have you really enjoyed about it? Well I think the real thing that I'll take away from it is the um, simply the, the, the Valentine family legacy which unfortunately I'm the last of the um, you know I'm the sixth generation and I'm, I'm the last of the uh, of the Valentines who had any association with the company. Um, so I'm, that I think is one thing that I've managed to do together with working with the v &A, which has been great. I mean, yeah. The enthusiasm has been terrific. Um, and I, I've really enjoyed all of that association with them for the last four years. Thank you, Andrew Valentine, thank you very much. Thank you.